bless your name. We give you all the glory and praise for you again alone is worthy of the praise. Now God has been going your word. We pray that you will anoint us anew and afresh. Send your word today, Lord God. Let it prick the hearts of the man in the name of Jesus. And say that we put notice on you that we bind every spirit, every demon in the name of Jesus that come up against the word of God. Let your word go out in the name of Jesus and let it accomplish what you sent it out to do. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We do honor the Lord again for Jesus again on this um, blessed, this is a blessed day. Amen. It's a blessed day. Amen. Somebody didn't wake up this morning, but we are grateful to the Lord that we are alive. Amen. And we are alive and well. Amen. Go with me to the book of Psalm 73. Amen. The Lord dropped this scripture in prayer one morning. Amen. While we was here at 6 o'clock morning prayer. Amen. Glory to God. And I want to encourage the people of God even on this day. Amen. With the word of God. Let's go to Psalm 73. Amen. Psalm 73. I hope that you have enjoyed Jesus thus far. Amen. Glory to God. For the scripture says that man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Amen. And we know that we need the word of God to stand in this last day. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Pastor also will always say that you are clean through the word. Amen. Amen. Let's go right quickly to Psalm 73. Amen. The first verse says, Truly God is good to Israel, even to such as of a clean heart. The second verse says, But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well not slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Jump down to the 16th verse says, When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. The 17th verse says, Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then understood I therein. Amen. Glory to God. And just amen for a thought, the message today. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. Neighbor. Stay in the church. Stay in the church. Amen. You amen. Clap your hands and give God praise. Stay in the church. Amen. Stay in the church. People of God, the Lord began to speak to me this morning concerning, amen, to tell you to, amen, stay in the church. Many of us, Brother Harold, let Amen. A noun stop us from coming to church. Come on. Well, Pastor, what do you mean we let a noun stop us from coming to church? So the met Al Jackie, when I was in third or fourth grade, my teacher began to teach us about nouns. Mm -hmm. And the word, the definition of a noun is a person, place, or thing. Do I have a witness yeah. here? And I'm, I'm afraid that we have allowed some people, amen, places and things to keep us out of the church. Do I have a witness here? Amen. We have allowed some people to have, amen, so much power and influence over our lives yeah. that when we see them in church, we can't stand to be on them on the same road. Do I have a witness here? I don't like her. I can't, amen, get along with her. Well, there's something wrong with you and the love of God that's in you. Do I have a witness here? Oh, yes. And so many people, so many sinners, so many people, amen, that are lost out there will not come to church because they say there's a number of hypocrites in the church. Well, I've got, I got a message for them. So the same say, I always tell them that, yeah, well, it might be some hypocrites that come to church. Well, you know also that there's some hypocrites that go to Walmart. Well, there's some hypocrites that go to Red Lobster. There's some hypocrites that go to Menards. But amen, that don't stop you from going there. Do I have a witness? And so you have to have that in your mind, amen, that I'm not going to let nothing keep me out of the church. Do I have a witness here? Yes, yes, yes. We have some things in our lives that stop us from going to church. I don't want the people to see my sin. I don't want the preacher to call me out. They hold service too long. They shout too long. They preach too long. Well, that might be your thing, but when you get on the Lord's side, time does not matter. Do I have a witness here? Oh, yes, oh, yes. And people, so the trainer, I was, amen, beginning to drive, amen, a couple of months ago, I went and, amen, had to go to Crown Point, 
and I had to use the, the uh, funeral home van to go get this body. Uh -huh. And I went to the coroner's office out at Crown Point, and I was driving this the black van, amen, and I noticed that the van started to begin to jerk. Uh -huh. Begin to jerk. And then after a while, the van cut off on me. So the Valentina, it cut off on me. So I had to pull to the side, and I'm like, oh, Lord, I hate to tell Sam that something wrong with this van. Lord, have me this van won't start, and I just, just the Camille, I just, <laughs> and it, look, it, won't, it won't start. So I said, well, let me call Sam. So I called Sam, Mother Lark. I said, something wrong with the van. The van won't start. I said, I don't know what's wrong with it. It was driving just fine. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm looking at the gas hand, and the gas hand is on full. Uh -huh. He said, Philip, ain't nothing wrong with this van. What's wrong with it is out of gas. All right. <laughs> I said, how is it out of gas when it's on full? Uh -huh. How can that be possible? Uh -huh. What he said, well, being that you don't know that when it's on F, that means it's empty. Lord. And when it's on E, that means it's full. Uh -huh. <laughs> And there's some people in church who can't look at people. Yeah. But some folks will look like that you think that they are full, but they are empty inside. And the folks that you think that are empty are full. Hallelujah. Do I have a witness here? So you have to realize, don't worry about what people say. People don't talk. Amen. People, amen, don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in. But your mind, your heart got to be set. Amen. Your mind got to be made up. I'm going to live for Jesus. I'm going to focus on Jesus and him being crucified. Do I have a witness here? Message on last Sunday was make your decision. You got to make it up in your mind that I'm not going to let nothing separate me and keep me out of the church. And not only come to church and have the church, but you got to have the church inside of you. Do I have a witness here? Oh, yes, you got to have the church inside of you. Many people can come and sing. Many people come and clap and dance. Yes. Amen. But do not have the church inside them when they leave the, amen, this place. Do I have a witness here? Oh yes. Oh yes. The word church comes from the Greek word ecclesia. Did I say that right? Ecclesia. E-C-C-L-E-S Ecclesia. E Ecclesia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. It means the call out. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you're not in the church, get in the church. Well, I'm not talking about this brick and mortar building, but I'm talking about the church, which is the body of Christ. Do I have a witness here? Yes, the word church means the call out. When God saved us, he called us out of darkness into the marvelous light. When he saved us, he put wood in our feet, clapping in our hands, praise on our lips, and joy in our days. Amen. When he saved our lives, amen. Wherefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are new. I'm talking about the call out people. The call out church. Wherefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. I beseech you, therefore, brother, by the mercies of God, that you present your body living sacrifice, yes, Lord. holy and acceptable to God, yes. which is a reasonable service. Yes. Look at our text today. It's a psalm of Asaph. Yes. 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 Asaph is one of the leaders of David's choirs. All right. yes. He, amen, we will consider him a choir director. We will consider him a praise and worship leader. Young people, we will, be, we will consider him Asaph as compared to a Donna Lawrence or a Donna McCurkin or a Kurt Frank. Do I have a witness here? Asaph first said, amen, in the first verse in the 73rd chapter, he said, true 